hello guys welcome to our channel and today you can see this that we will discuss how can we make the school management system i already made for you so that you can get the understanding of what we will uh, make today and here you see the school management system which includes the invoice number of the students and you just need to put the uh, invoice number of different students and you'll get the data of the students which includes name address phone and the last email and the remaining the most important is its uh, fees and its uh, pending amounts and uh, what the months remain like here you can see the uh, invoice of the students which has paid its april of uh, fees and it has no pending amount if i just select another uh, student and here you can see its January uh, payment is paid and the remaining three months payment is still uh, not paid so the total amount pending on him is uh, right here this is how you just uh, learn how to make this type of school management system and we already I give some data so that we will uh, start our example without wasting time you just uh, need to put the uh, more data as per your needs and here you see uh, student data which includes student number name address class phone and email and here another a section which includes invoice to number fees month status panning and total amounts you can increase the data as per your needs and we will just make the invoice so that it will just uh, extract the data from the student data and fees data so just we'll start the invoice and how can we just make here you see i already made the format and if you want to learn how can i made this format so i just uh, put the description of our previous video which includes uh, the uh, format and different thing from the scratch so you can just learn how you can make the uh, format so i just to save over time i started this video uh, without wasting our uh, single or uh, second and how can we just uh, make this type of uh, function and make this type of management system from our uh, data so you just need to first connect the invoice number to our student number and mm, how can you just uh, do here you just need to uh, connect the student uh, number from in, uh, invoice number and uh, you just need to select the data which includes both like uh, in our fees data here invoice and student number both are uh, written in the same sheet so you just need to get the data from this sheet so how you just uh, write here equals to we look up bracket open you just need to tell them that it should look up the value of this cell comma now you just have to go here in fees data and in fees data you just need to select it says table array so you just select hold the table array and in the same sheet you just write here comma if you go back to the sheet it will create some confusion for you so you just write your comma and we just want to link we look up and we will get what we want to get we want to get the student number and the student number is written in the column number two so you just write your column number two comma and you just again write your zero for the exact value so here you can see it connected the both cells so from the student number we will cut the we will cut the data which is a student name address phone and email and from invoice you will get the address data of fees months status and pending so this is how both uh, connections can help us to get the both data so how you can get you just need to write here a student uh, in name we look up bracket open you just select this value comma now you just need to go into student data for the student uh, name so you shall just select the uh, student data and here it says you just need the table array so you just select hold the table array comma now we just need the name of the student and it, the name of the student is written in the column number two so you just write the two and comma and zero and just 
close the bracket this is how you get the name of the students in the same way I just put uh, the manually uh, formula so for each cell so you will get the better understanding of it I can select the same cell comma now go in the student uh, data cell select the whole array comma I just need the uh, address of the student and the address of the student is written in the column number C which is a three and comma again zero for exact and you will get the address now we will proceed to phone number so you just write equals to v look up bracket open and you just need the v lookup value and table array so we just again go in student cell and select the whole array and we want a student phone number as so, uh, so the phone number is in call number five and comma and zero you will get the student's phone number now we just proceed to its email so email you will just again select the whole cell and go student data and select the whole array and for the email you just count these columns and it is in the sixth column so you just select the six as and comma and again zero you will get the email now we'll proceed our uh, fees month status and the panning months so for the fees you will just will look up function for invoice so I just can select equals to we look up bracket open you just select the uh, we look up it says what value I look up so we just uh, give the address of the cell b8 comma and it says table array so the data of this uh, fee month status and panning is located in fees data so we just proceed to fees data and select all the cells comma and now we just need the fees so the fees is in the column number three we just select three and comma and zero this is how you got the fees now we just proceed for a month so I just select the uh, invoice cell comma I just go again in fees data select the whole fees now we just need the month so months is in the fourth column so you select the four and zero you will get the four uh, which is January month now we proceed for a status a status I again select the we look up and again it will look up this cell and proceed to our fees data and comma now it says status status is in the column number E which is our five column and again zero you will get the paid status now for the panning again I just select the we look up basically it is the whole function of VLOOKUP and it's magic how you just use it for making a complex example so again select I this uh, cell and go here and select all the cell comma and now it says panning month so the panning month is in the column number six so you just write the six and again comma and zero for the exact amount you will get the panning months and the last is our total payments you just write equals to we look up bracket open you just select the invoice comma select the fees data and comma and in the last which is our seventh column equals to and zero you will get the total of payments this is how I just completed our total example if I just uh, write a one two three four one so we will, we will get the data of John Michael which has the payment of one hundred one thousand four hundred dollars and it has paid its April uh, fees so it's the remaining panning months is zero and its paid remaining panning amount is also zero if I just select another student which is chief uh, Smith and its uh, student uh, number is written here and its total fees which is ha has to be paid is 
1500 dollars and it's month is February and the uh, status of the February month is paid so the remaining month is due and the payment he has to make is 3000 this is how I just again select another student here you can see the changes this is how I just made the change and this is how overhaul example completed you can extract the data from here and you can just put the uh, data manually as per your own need and you can also get the whole uh, format from our previous uh, video which which is uh, given in uh, and its description is given in the uh, below and you can get the format and you just need to use the vlookup function to get this type of brilliant example and if you face any confusion you just need to write in our comment section we will surely uh, give you the uh, answer and thank you for watching our video